Hi everyone. Um, so we are going to do the question remove a net node from the end of the list. Uh, so um, in this question, we are asked to we are given a linked list and we want to remove like the nth node from the end of the linked list. So if you look at this example where n equals to 2, um, that means we are trying to remove the second node from the last of the linked list. So here 5 will be the last node and second last will be the uh, this node 4. Um, and when we remove the, uh, remove the 4 node, the resultant linked list will be 1, 2, 3 and 5. So um, basically we need to understand how to delete a node from linked list. So the easiest way to, uh, I think the way to delete a node in the linked list is to go to the node behind the targeted node. So in this case, four is our targeted node. So we want to go till three. And once we have three, we need to, um, uh, we need to change the pointer for three. We, we need to change the link from uh, three to four to five. So we need to change this arrow which goes from three to four. So the, the arrow will go from three directly to five. Um, so the, th the way we do it is um, by using a piece of code um, like, uh, like we have written in line 33. So we here current we have uh, reached the node behind the targeted node and we um, we change the next that is the pointer from three to four to directly to three to five um, right so that's where, that's how we delete a node in a linked list um, now we are asked to delete the um, a net node from the end of the linked list so so there are like multiple ways to do this uh, in terms of like uh, finding the nth node from the end of the linked list. But what I have done is first I have calculated the number of nodes in the linked list. And um, uh, to find the um, find the nth node from the end, we can also traverse, like we need to know like how many links we need to traverse till we re reach three. Because remember I told you like we want to reach the node behind the targeted node. So behind four, there's three. So first what I did was I calculated the number of nodes that I do using this logic. And then um, we want to know like to reach, so we want to reach three, remember? So to reach three, how many links do we need to um, traverse? Links as in this arrow marks. Um, so if you, if you see here, to reach three, we need to traverse two arrow marks, right? So, so this two, you, you can think of like this, the so number of nodes that we calculated here, minus n, the so number of nodes is five, uh, minus n, um, that is like, that, uh, how many nodes we want to, from the back, we want to delete, so that is n. So in this case, it is, it is two. So five minus two is three minus one. So we want to, um, so five minus, uh, five minus two is three, right? But remember, we want to reach the node behind four. So if you count the number of arrows, we have one arrow, two arrow, three arrow, right? But we want to reach three, so minus one. So that gives you two. Um, now, um, what we do is, uh, we basically traverse, so we found the number of links to traverse. Then uh, here I am traversing that many times. So we started at head and we went forward that many times. So now we are at three. So at three, what we have to do is, um, uh, like I said, we delete like this. We just take the take the arrow mark and we um, we plug it into uh, the next node. I mean, so we are at three, and we current dot next refers to this arrow mark. 
so we are saying that three arrow mark which earlier pointed to four so that value is equal to now five so that's what we are doing here um, and um, so other thing you need to handle um, like you need to handle some edge cases so one of the edge cases when we need to delete the head so when we need to delete the head we will delete like this head equals to head dot next so we just took like our head uh, reference and we said um, let's say we wanted to delete one right so we, we can just say the head now points to two so our linked list is like basically two three four five um, so that's what I did here um, it also handles the case when um, when there is only one node in the linked list so let's say there's only one node in the linked list so the input should be I mean the only one node can be deleted so we will be given okay the, delete the first node so in that case also when we do head equals to head dot next so head dot next in that case will be now so if we delete one node if there was only one node in the linked list and we delete that then there's no there's no linked list right it's an empty linked list so head will be null so that's what uh, so it also handles that case um, yeah so I think that handles like all the edge cases and everything um, so yeah that's the solution there's also another um, solution like a fancy way of finding um, of doing uh, this of like finding the nth node from the end um, so in this solution what we did was we did um, we first calculated the number of nodes and then we do we do basically two traversals of the linked list first to calculate the number of nodes and then we calculate then to traverse till three but this is fancy way where we can uh, do it in a single pass uh, that uh, I may I might explain in a later video thank you